So, you know, me being a hothead, I went for the kill. I went for the kill, right? I went for the kill. I, I tried punching him. Obviously, that didn't work. It didn't work. So, I tried punching him. He dodged it. Picked me up and slammed my little ass on the ground, bro. <laughs> Story time, right? Story time. Back when I was in like, like, mm, I would say back when I was in like second, third grade, maybe, maybe first grade, right? First grade, I was a demon, bro. Jesus Christ. I was always like, I was just, first of all, I was a dumb kid. First of all, I was dumb as hell. But I was also a demon. So, boom. I had this one friend, right? He was in fifth grade or sixth grade or something like that. He was an upperclassman, duh. So, you know, I think he was a neighbor. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. I think he was a neighbor of mine. But I remember us going to school together and walking back from school together almost every day, right? So then he was in band, right? He was one of those, 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 uh, those, uh, I don't know what to call it. Those, those people that like flip thingies, the stick. He be flipping the sticks and stuff. So, I always wanted to learn how to do that, right? I always wanted to learn how to flip the sticks. So, so he always teach me how to do that, right? And then, because, no, the way I met him, okay, let me start from the beginning. I met him because he was in band, right? And I always wanted to learn how to flip the stick thingy. So, I was like, and he was really good at doing it. So, I was like, bro, how do you do that? So, I came up to him, I was like, bro, how do you do that? And then he started teaching me, and then... From there on, we started being friends, right? So, yeah, we started being friends, and he was giving me lessons on how to do that. I forgot how to do it. I used to know how to do it every single time. I, I can't talk. I can't talk. I can't talk. I can't talk. Okay. I used to know how to, like, do it, but now I can't do it, like, you know, like that no more. So, yeah, it's whatever. But I still, I can flip it, right? I can't do tricks. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I can flip it, but I can't do tricks. So, so he always gives me lessons, right? So we like friends, type like shit. We became friends, and I really can't remember what led up to like us fighting, but I just remember something like he said something to me one day, right? And I started looking at him sideways, like I started looking at him, like kind of like you know, no, oh, bro, I think, I think, I think it's from like recess, and we were play fighting. Right? And he beat me up in play fight. And then he say something to me. I don't know what he said to me. But then, you know, from then on, I always started looking at him sideways. I'm like, bro, I'm really not, you know, messing with him like that no more type shit. But we still, like, walk to school and stuff. So, boom, we start, you know, we were still friends, right? We were still cool, right? So, you know, we walk to school, walk back from school every single day. Walk back from school. I have to chill out, because... I can't talk, I can't talk, I can't talk, all right. So we always walk back from school, right? So this one day, I was with my siblings, my little siblings, right? We were walking back to school together. All of us were walking back to school. And I don't know what happened, bro. I don't know what happened, but me and him started arguing. We started getting heated. Everything started getting heated. We started getting heated. The argument started getting heated, bro. So I was like, bro, this, this nigga is pissing me off. So, you know, me being a hothead, I went for the kill. I went for the kill, right? I went for the kill. I, I tried punching him. Obviously, that didn't work. It didn't work. So, I tried punching him. He dodged it. Picked me up and slammed my little ass on the ground, bro. <laughs> that was my first, I think that was my first ever time, like, actually fighting. So, he picked me up, slammed me. And, yeah, that was it, bro. Everyone was like, everyone was silent. Everyone was silent, bro. So I was like, damn, bro, that really just happened. I didn't know, I, bro, I didn't know how to come back from there. I didn't know how to come back from that. I didn't know how to come back from that. I didn't know what to do later on. So I just, like, you know, sat there on the ground, like, reflecting for, like, a couple, like, I would say, like, 50 seconds. And then some lady just came out and saw us lying. And he was like, and she was like, what school are y'all from? And I think someone told us the to school, um, our school, but I don't know. I don't know about that. But then after that, I got home, and ever since from then, I really wasn't talking to him like that no more.
it wasn't even from homies no more. It wasn't it wasn't like that. So I tried my best to cover up the story because you know I didn't want to look like a bitch in front of my friends. But somehow they all knew. All my homies, my other homies knew about that fight. And then we went to church this one day, and then my homie was like, he came up to me. One of my little homies, my one of my homies from back then, he came up to me. and was like, did you get beat up by? Uh, I'm gonna just call the dude James. Do you get beat up by James? I'm like, oh my god, bro. I was like, how did you know? Cause I tried my best to cover. It. I didn't want to look like a bitch. I tried my best to cover up the story. So he was like, I was like, how do you know? He was like, so and so told me. I was like, damn, bro, damn. But yeah, everyone was clowning me. Everyone was clowning me. But you really can't. They really can't clown me like that. Cause I was a seven. I was a second grader fighting a fifth grader or sixth grader. So it's really is like we we all know what was gonna happen, right? We all know I was gonna get my ass beat. What was gonna happen? What do you think was gonna happen? Everyone knew I was gonna get my ass beat, you know. Alright, but obviously everyone knew about it, my whole homie knew about it, everyone. So I had to like cause I was like at the top, right? I was like the tough guy. I was like at the top of the tough guy, whatever. Like at the top and everyone was clowning me. So I felt like I was at the bottom. So I had to like, get my myself back up there, you know? back up to like the respectable area. So like every single day on recess, whenever we play fight, I always like go hard in everyone. I always be everyone's ass. I always go hard so I can get my respect back. But you know, the funny thing is, dude try making up, he try making up with me after all that. So I'm like, like bro, you really think I'm trying to be cool with you after you like slam me and humiliate and he, I can't, I can't say humiliate, humil, humiliate, humiliate me, humiliate me in front of my whole family like that. So like, obviously it wasn't cool after that. And this whole thing happened in, this whole thing happened in Nigeria actually. And yeah, I didn't talk to him like that until I moved to like United States or whatever. Like shit, that's my story time for the first time I fought someone for real. Ever since then, ever since then, ever since then, I really haven't been in a fight like that. I haven't been in a fight. The only type of fight I've been ever since then was like play fight, only play fight type shit. But ever since then, I haven't been in a fight like that. So that's the video. But look, I think I'm gonna start doing like more story times to be honest, cause there's nothing to watch. So I'm gonna start doing more reaction videos. I say reaction videos. Story time videos, cause why the fuck not, bro? It's my damn channel. You're gonna tell me what the fuck to do with my channel, nigga. Fuck, nigga.